Thank you for logging into uh, growx.co.uk and I'm Carlos and I'm here with Esteban from Grow, Grow Max Water and he uh, makes these very interesting filters that he's going to explain to us what exactly they do. Well, uh, hello, we have designed two different lines for hydroponics and gardening. The filtration line, what it does is uh, clean the water and eliminate chlorine, 99% of chlorine. The benefits is you don't lose water, so all the water came in, came out, and you don't need a special pressure. Okay? Uh, we start with the small one, it's 2 4 liters per hour, uh, until the big one is 2,000 liters per hour, mm. all of them to a stage. Okay? Uh, and the reverse osmosis line, uh, to lower the AC, we start uh, with up to 200 liters per hour and uh, up to 3,000 liters per hour in the big one. And also we have a unit that uh, produces 0, 0 ppm water. All of them, repeat, are designed for hydroponics and gardening, including uh, connections for indoor and for outdoor. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. This one here does sediment and chlorine only? Yes. It doesn't really drop the EC of your water? No, okay. don't drop the, the EC. And this one here uh, drops your water to nearly zero EC? Yeah, probably sometimes nearly zero, wow. sometimes zero, you know, but uh, all the reverse osmosis eliminates up to 95% of all Wow, zones. that's excellent. Mm -hmm. So the water quality here in the Midlands, in England, is uh, 450 ppm. It gets better the more north you go, I noticed that. And why is it important to start off with clean water, with water with near zero EC? Well, uh, as cleaner as the water, you know, as much as uh, nutrients and fertilizers, let's say food, can get the plants. So, for example, if the plant can get between 1.4 and 1.8 EC, you know, uh, talking about food, and you start with 0 0.8, mm -hmm. so uh, the plants, uh, you only can add only uh, one, 0 0.6. Mm -hmm. But if you start with 0 0.2, 0 0.1, even 0 0.0, mm -hmm. all the minerals you add to your soils, you know, are going to be um, getting from the plants, from your roots. So it's like this, it, the salts that come in your water, from your tap water here, from your hard water, they occupy the spaces that otherwise your nutrients would take. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, you're not, you have a less of a window of range uh, range to uh, feed your plants with. Also, the way I like to look at it is <clears throat> when you apply nutrients to your solution, nutrient solution, if the water was not clean to begin with, you don't know what that will, nutrient will become. If there's sodium hydroxide and you're putting in your nutrient feed in there, that's going to be changing. Things will start combining and you're going to get new elements yeah. and things will precipitate out of your solution and your plants will not get the uh, what was intended for them. It's almost like an artist when he paints on a canvas. He likes to start out with a clean Clean <laughs> sheet. <laughs> yeah. Well, definitely the professionals, growers, uh, they say and they use almost all of them uh, reverse osmosis water. Okay. Because you know when you start, you know. As we said, water is the foundation for growth, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, as better as the water, as better as would be the results. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the foundation for hydroponics starts with clean water. Exactly. <laughs> thank, thank you, Esteban, for stopping by. Thank you, Rowex, for receiving me in UK.